We don't quite have the augmented reality set up here for Luke to be able to <laughs> loop it over Ben's head on Zoom. But, Cunners, congratulations. Hopefully you can hear us and the Wi-Fi at both ends is working OK. Tell us about how you reflected on your season. Yeah, no, thank you. Um, firstly, uh, yeah, it was, um, it was actually refreshing to to get back out there and play um, after 2020, I had a um, fair stint on the sidelines. So I was going to be back, especially with the refreshment of uh, coaches and um, and some of the young guys come through, kept, kept me on my toes and um, I enjoyed my footy this year. So it was, um, yeah, it was nice to uh, start making some movements in that second half. Challenging you, Ben, in a lot of different ways. That you know, a lot of challenges have been thrown at you that you haven't had before, and you've stepped through it beautifully. This one might be a really special award to just sh- show your consistency throughout the year to be the prime leader in that midfield with some new names around you, some younger players around you, different challenges personally. How have you found it? Is this a special one? Um, yeah, it actually is. For some reason, I'm getting uh, a bit emotional, even though I didn't even win it, but. Um, oh, I'm not good at this stuff. <laughs> hey, you're doing a good job, mate. Yeah, and no, I just have the support from the club, um, the players. And my beautiful family. Yeah, I couldn't have done it without them. No, it has been a challenging year. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Hey, Luke, tell us about him. Tell, tell us about Ben because he doesn't often let us in like he probably is now for the, the first time in a long time. Tell us about what it's like playing with Ben Cunnington. Yeah, well, I think he's got us all there. Um, yeah, he's just... I, I don't think I'm, I'm wrong in saying he's one of the all-time greats of North Melbourne's history. You know, he's come fourth in, in the... Second in the BNF four times, one, two. Um, but, you know, Ben Cunnington, the player, and Ben Cunnington, the person, I honestly couldn't speak any higher of him... Um, Obviously, he's a bit quiet in the media and that, but his influence on the club, you know, we talk about how much all the young guys have improved. That's a lot of the stuff because of kind of behind the scenes, he puts in hours with them. So, um, and then, yeah, I mean, he's just a role model for all the boys, you know, how close he is um, with his family. Like, yeah, he's just an epitome of, of a shin boner. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't really have the words, mate. He's just an absolute superstar um, player, person, and... Um, dad as well I reckon. Yeah I think you've done a super job of putting that into words. Ben just tell us what does it mean to have the support of the footy club and not just the playing group but also the fans who've reached out over the last couple of months. Yeah mate it's um it's more than I even um expected I, I didn't think I was um oh you think you're a bit more alone but the support everyone from the top um at the club to the to the fans Stuck at home, it's uh, it's been huge, and it actually helps helps me um, smile and and makes me want to keep continue playing for this great club. Um, so it's yes, yeah, it makes more than I ever thought. This is this is a great speech, Ben. I, I know we, it's it's an awkward one for you, and, and it's, it's hit you pretty hard. But what you've done for this football club, I think, is, is often understated and undersold. But you see opportunity now to go on and become a great football team. This, this young side emerging around you gives you that, that opportunity to become a, a premiership star for the, for the Kangas. How much does that drive you? Yeah, it does. First, I'm just a bit embarrassed because um, I don't want to take the attention away from the winner. Um, but it, it does. And I, I love working with the young guys. And um, it, uh, it drives me every day. I, I try and think and help them in any way I can. And to see them get the recognition and hopefully another young fellow's got that tonight, um, yeah, it means a lot to, to hopefully contribute to them in any way to get us back to where we belong. Ben, we'll change gears before we let you go. Uh, lockdown's made things pretty hard. Have you had a chance to get out and wet a line in the off-season? Um, I'm fortunate enough we've, we've got our own farm, so we're, we've got a couple hundred acres here and it's been keeping us pretty busy, yeah. Uh, Well, thanks so much for your insights. Well done on another magnificent season. You are a special person in the history of the North Melbourne Football Club and what you've done on and off the field epitomises everything that's great about North Melbourne. Well done on second place in this year's Sid Barker medal. No, thank you very much. Before we get to our winner, Kingy, he is a modern great. He is, and I don't even think he understands what he means to this football club and this group. He, yeah, he's probably should be one that's thrown straight into the, the team of the century and those sorts of things. His his consistency is is 
Um, unparalleled across the competition, really. And another one, perhaps, in a similar vein to how we just spoke about Jack Zebel, who is getting better with age. Yeah, I'm not sure Ben can go to the halfback flank, though. <laughs> I think there's only room down there for one of them. Let's just, let's just keep it quiet. Happy having him around the coalface for many years to come. Well done, Ben Cunnington, second in this year's Sid Barker medal.